right, so you guys can go ahead and see. Um, I'm riding the scooter here. Um, I'm actually just did that mod. If you guys want to see that video, I actually made that for you guys. And that's it for this wide wheel. And I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, I didn't really do any um, review by myself, but I'm gonna go and experience it as a father that has a child and wanna bring his child and is the scooter really right, you know, to you. So I'll go ahead and I'm gonna take this for a ride. And you can see here, and this wagon here, I had this for like, I would say like a year. Well, yeah. Probably just a year and a half now, so it's a good thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing for a ride. Yeah, definitely. Let's go. Ready, Kai? All right, my son is ready. Both are ready. Wow. Even in an echo mode, this thing is quick. It's a white tire, so. You know you're gonna you're gonna feel a little bit weird when you're riding this but it's not bad I mean you know it's, it's a wide tire you just gotta s slow and turn if you're not used to it and I rode in a wide tires scooter so I know how to ride this thing without no problem but man the suspension on this thing is just wow and uh, the tires on this one is like it has that foam feel to it, but it's kind of like hard. It's not one of those like Tesla, but guys, I mean, it feels like an air tire. And I got a bunch of experience with scooters and electric skateboard and electric bicycles or even mountain bikes or anything like that. I'm pretty much experienced. Come here with me. So why pro electric? So I'm only going like 11 miles an hour right now, but I can feel the power. It's like when I, you know, want to go fast on. But over here, guys, you can only go 10 miles an hour. <laughs> Actually, over the speed limit. <laughs> oh wow! You guys can see the mod that I did on the bicycle trailer, and it's holding fine without no problem. So yeah. It did a good job and I could even feel anything. I mean, I don't even feel like I have a trailer behind me with this, you know, 1000 watts motor. Me just riding this, it feels good, man. You just gotta learn how to turn it. Once you learn how to turn it, you're good to go.
of this jive, you see my front leg, you see my right and my left in the back, you can actually jive. You know, so when you get tired of riding for a while, you can switch turns or you can do this, depending on what you like to do. So I would say, so. Wow, this thing pulls. All right, guys, I'm trying to find wrong with this electric scooter but i just can't find any right now um it seems like the battery life is good on it even though i'm pulling my son with a trailer it looked like it didn't move a dot um the suspension is good on it um it just feels you know it feels good especially with the tires i feel like i can just not even having a shoes i can just probably go barefooted <laughs> the brakes are good on it so i mean everything else is good the only thing i'm concerning about is there's no app you know <laughs> And the app, the reason why I'm saying that, um, and when I was unboxing this, is the fact that if you have, you know, if you have issue with batteries or something wrong with overheating motor, at least the app will tell you, you know, you have that warning sign or anything like that. And you can actually just contact the manufacturer company or get a text message, something like that. Or if even though you're charging your scooter, you don't have to get near it. You can look it up in your phone and it shows it's charged. That's the reason why I said I think app is important, especially if you're paying a thousand dollar in the scooter. But anything else, the build quality, the speed, the suspension, the brakes is is wow. The safety on this I think is good. And, um, and I'm power, trying to find some nicks for me, and to just push it on it or anything. I just don't find any. Right so now, I'm just giving miles. you guys my first okay, thought of it, so that's riding GPS. it, and that's about, about it. The same speed. See my watch at 11 miles an hour. He said it'll be here 12 miles an hour, and I'm in eco mode, okay? So just letting you know, I'm going 13 miles an hour, and I'm going 15, 16. I'm sorry. 13 miles an hour so and over here um <laughs> in this area they have a limit of uh 10 miles per hour but my opinion riding this is good i don't know why i mean a lot of people are not really comfortable with this because they want you know because it's wide and you have that thin but to me i'm okay with it um see i'm actually okay with it so and i like to switch you know switch turns you can see jiving and I'm of course I'm surfing so going going surfing so I didn't tighten this but everything works so I have this thing I didn't even tighten it but anyway it works the brakes are good so the speedometer on this one is pretty good too so surprised but everything else is good man and <laughs> you're just enjoying in the back but the suspension key that ride and this is actually my my first ride on a two-wheel front and rear motor um and i feel really the difference when you're just riding a scooter with just you know without no other speed i guess so right now you guys can see and the turn is good too look at it i had no issue with turn i mean you know there's there's a trick to it but you just gotta learn it now you guys can see eight miles an hour you can and then I'm in echo mode so I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and put it let's go ahead and change the modes a little bit so I'm, I'm gonna put it in <laughs> all right let's go ahead and put it in sport mode <laughs> you can see this thing is pulling yep look at it look at speedometer here <laughs> I'm going like, wow I'm going 18 miles an hour already wow 17 pushed in so I'm not really want to push I have my son here with me but man I feel the difference just having 1000 watts motor wow I'm excited with this scooter I'm impressed see guys this is extreme review <laughs> but yeah oh my god <laughs> yeah definitely the, the reason why i like about this wagon is the fact that you know you have storage in the back of here and not only you know most of the other one like this it just you know it's really tiny 
but this one you got storage you can put your kids diaper your um your drinks whatever you need to bring in here and not only that you can actually if you're gonna go grocery or you just go on to go get something in a store you can actually just restore everything here so it's a good thing you know i'll definitely recommend this uh wagon and i had it for i would say like a year year and a half now so i don't know if they fixed the issues here but the throttle it seems responsive i mean i have no delays on it and this actually fat tires electric scooter i enjoy riding it and i'm just having a trail with it. see i have my scooter foldable in the back of my trunk of my car and also my um trailer wagon you guys can see that and just everything's just so portable man and you can put everything in there so and you don't have to worry about having a trailer hitch you can just even though you have a small car it still fits <laughs> and especially for what a wide tire and the size of the scooter not <laughs>